Let's have a look now at customizing plot sizes when you're plotting in AutoCAD. As usual, we have an 07 customizing plot sizes complete drawing open in the video. If you want to follow along with the video, you're going to be looking for 07 customizing plot sizes.dwg and you can follow along as we work through the exercise. Now, this particular drawing is set up to work with A3 sheet sizes. They're ISO sheets, International Standards Organization sheets. And this particular A3 sheet is 420 millimeters along the long edge and 297 millimeters along the shorter edge. So that's all set up in our page setups ready to plot. But you might want to customize your plot size. A3, whilst it's not a big sheet, you might want to make it smaller so that you can carry it on a clipboard maybe out on site with you or so that it fits in your A4 size diary so that when you go to a meeting, it's a little bit smaller and a little easier to carry. Now, I know in the day of notepads, diaries and folders, that was the standard thing to do. Nowadays, obviously, you've got things like iPads and tablets that you can use. And we will touch on that towards the end of this course. But let's pretend that we're back in the dark ages, if you'll pardon the pun, and we're working on a sheet of paper. Now, I need to resize this sheet of paper. It's A3 and I want it to be A4. So I'm going to customize my plot size. Now, I don't want to impinge on any page setup. So I'm going to go to the page setup manager and I'm going to create a new one. So when I open up the page setup manager, all of these are A3s. So I'm going to set up a new one and I'm going to base it on the A3 gray so that all my color settings are set. And I'm going to click in here and I'm going to call it A4 check plot and then dash and then gray. So it's still going to have the gray color, but it's an A4 sheet size. Now an A4 sheet is 297 by 210 millimeters. And you'll see that in a moment when I go into the settings. I'll click on OK. I'm going to keep it as a DWF6 E plot as the printer plotter, but I'm going to change the paper size. So if I click here and scroll either up or down in the list, there's the A4s there, just coming up towards the top of the list there. I want a 297 by 210 so that the longer edge is along the top and the bottom of the sheet. As soon as I select that, can you see what happens? It's telling me that my area, 297 by 210, is not big enough for the drawing. And it won't be because that title block here on the sheet is designed to fit 420 by 297. So there's no way it's going to fit on that sheet. So what we do is we use the fit to paper option here. Now I could customize it. I could change all the sizes of the title block and things. I don't need to. But remember, any viewport scales that you've set up are now negated because you're fitting, you're scaling to fit. So it's not to scale anymore. However, if I preview that now, you can see that it all fits nice and neatly on an A4 sheet. I'll just close the preview, I'll click on OK, and I've now got my A4 check plot grey. If I double click that and apply that to my A3 landscape layout tab, you can see there when I close, the drawing doesn't look any different. It's just a different sheet size, a different plot size. Now you can customize these even further if you want to in your plotter manager. For example, you might have a roll of paper on your plotter and you might need to create a really long highway layout. You can go in and customize the plot sizes in there. You would do all of this in your plotter manager, which we looked at earlier, where you go in here and run the add a plotter wizard. So you'd go in there and you'd set it all up going through these dialog boxes. And you can set up a particular plotter to plot in that fashion. Or the other way to do it is to set up a specific page setup for that and customize the sheet size when you're developing your page setup. What I've showed you there is how to customize your plot size to an A4 sheet so that you can shrink it down to a smaller sheet and take the drawing on site. If I right click here and go to Page Setup Manager again and double click the A3 grey, that will update and it's now on an A3 sheet size. So that's how you can customize your plot size to your advantage when you're plotting in AutoCAD.